But if I hadn't met a French lover, I might have married him and lived in Paris, like my friend Melanie. One day, Melanie was getting out of the shower just as her husband was getting in, and the doorbell rang. After a brief conversation about who was going to go and answer it, Melanie gave it, wrapped herself up in a towel, ran down the stairs, and opened the door. It was Pierre, their neighbor down the hall. Before she could say a word, he said, I will give you 5,000 francs if you drop that towel. <laughs> a little astonished. She thought for a couple of seconds. And before she knew it, the towel was on the floor and she was standing there nude in front of Pierre. He looked at her and started handing her the francs, one at a time. <laughs> she was feeling a little bit weird, but she was really happy about the small fortune she just made in about 10 seconds. We gave her the last franc, they said goodbye, she closed the door, picked up the towel, wrapped it around herself, ran up the stairs, and found her husband still in the shower. <laughs> he said, who was it? She said, Pierre, our neighbor down the hall. He said, super. Did he pay you the 5,000 francs he owes me? <laughs> Laissez-moi encore un peu, mon amour. Un jour, deux jours, huit jours. Laissez-moi encore un peu, à moi. De se le dire, le temps de se fabriquer des souvenirs. Mon Dieu, ah oui, mon Dieu, laissez-le-moi. Laissez-moi 